Hi, I'm Jeff Pitch, Senior Solution Architect at Unidesk. Now Windows 10 is out and more and more end user devices are coming with it pre-installed or you're upgrading currently today to get those desktops up. You know, there's two challenges that are there to try to address this. The first is how do you deliver your current Windows applications, which may not be compatible with Windows 10, to those new devices? But then there's also the how do I migrate my environment to Windows 10 and get those applications repackaged so that you can deliver them to the desktops. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how Unidesk makes it easy to deliver Windows applications to new Windows 10 devices using virtual desktops and remote desktop sessions. And then I'll show you how easy it is to repackage your Windows 10 applications and deliver them to a new Windows 10 virtual desktop environment with Unidesk. So let's start by showing how to deliver Windows applications to Windows 10 devices using remote desktop session host. Could use VDI, but we'll save that for the next example. So here, I simply want to show you that we already have some layers created. I'm using Windows 2012 R2 to deliver as, as a session host to deliver the applications. And these are the apps that I have created already for that. So if I hear the layers, here's my session host uh, OS layer. And if I look under my session host, I can see my, you know, what's assigned to it. So I've got v, my vSphere client, OpenOffice and Firefox, along with the OS layer itself assigned to this particular server. So if I go out to a Windows 10 desktop, which I have right here, I can simply log in and we can see that the applications are being delivered to the desktop that I've specified to be published through the remote desktop broker. So here, if I click on the start menu, I go to all apps and I scroll down, you can see right here, work resources. These are, this is what I have published. Everything from Mozilla, to the open office, even some desktops that I may want to have access to and also the vSphere client. So if I click on the vSphere client, this is going to start it up just like you would expect. And it's, here it is. It's, I'm simply going to log into it, log into it. It's already started. All I, I can now start managing my vSphere environment through RDSH through the published application. And just to confirm, if I go to my control panel and we have our remote app and desktop connections, you can see here that I am connected. These are the resources, again, that I have published and that I am connecting to. Now I'll show you how easy it is to repackage your apps for Windows 10 and migrate to a new Windows 10 VDI environment. The first thing we're going to see here are the layers that I've already created for Windows 10. So I've got a number of applications that I've got created for my Windows 10 environment. Uh, here is my OS layer once again. Again, a completely separate disk from the applications, completely separate. I can mix and match these applications on top of that OS layer to satisfy any use case requirement that we may have. Now this desktop I'm going to log into next is going to be this JPitch. First thing that, we, that I want to do is show you which apps are assigned to this particular desktop. Uh, vSphere Client, OpenOffice, Wireshark, which wasn't on the session host. Lots of apps that, that weren't there, but you know, make up a desktop. Now, how do, how do we get these application layers? Well, the first thing is, is you need to package the app layers. For us, that is a three-step process, a very simple process to get your applications layered within the environment. So here I simply start my create layer wizard. Let's say I give it a name. Let's say I want to do WinZip instead of WinRAR. I give it a new version. And then I tell it which OS layer I'm going to base this application on. And then you give it an installation machine. An install machine is simply a packaging machine that's that's our name for a packaging machine it's it, it it you know whenever you do packaging you always start off with a fresh clean operating system with the bare minimum requirements 
for that application that's exactly what I'm show what I'm creating here is that type of environment and from there you choose any prerequisites let's say I was going to you know do a an office add-on or a plug-in for office and I want I would have to make sure that office was there so that the plug-in or the add-on would see that office was there and would install correctly from there I assign any JPEG or PNG for an icon and then I tell it that I want to create a layer. And if I hit create layer, what that will do is that will go out, assign the OS layer to the install machine, assign any prerequisites I may have chosen, and then boot up that install machine so that it will be, I can then log into it. I simply install my application. I don't have to use any prescripts or postscripts to tell us to start capturing or to stop capturing. I simply log in, install my application. Once I'm done, I choose the application that I was working on, and then I click on the finalize button. That finalization button will automatically shut down the install machine, and it will convert that layer into a read-only disk that will then become deployable and can then be pushed out to the desktops. And if I come over here, and then once I have my new layers, I can edit my desktops. And I can edit a single desktop like I'm doing here. I can edit multiple desktops at the same time. It doesn't really matter to us. But I would come down here and let's say I want to deliver, you know, I'm going to push out AppSense to all of my desktops. All I have to do is check the box for AppSense. I tell it when I want that reboot to happen for those desktops to get updated. And then I would come down here and update my desktop. I'm not going to do that now, but it is really that simple for getting the updates out. So now let's say I've got my desktop. I want to log into it. So this is JPitch. This is my JPitch desktop. This is a fully functional Unidesk persistent desktop. So if I log into it, uh, I can start making changes to it. Uh, you can see here that I've got my apps that I want to deliver to it. Wireshark, the vSphere client, uh, OpenOffice, all these apps that I've pushed out to this particular desktop. Now, one thing you'll notice that's different than the earlier desktop that I talked about earlier is that we don't have the Windows session host apps within here. In fact, if I come over to here and bring up Control Panel, and just to show that this is not configured at all, no current connections, I have not set this up for any session host connections at all. So if I want, I can simply open up Wireshark or any one of these applications and start using them just like I would on any other type of desktop. So now you've seen how Unidesk layers help solve both of the big Windows 10 challenges, how to deliver your current Windows applications to new Windows 10 devices, whether it be PCs, laptops, or tablets. And we've also shown you how to repackage your applications for Windows 10, separating those apps from the operating system, giving your users greater mobility at lower cost to IT. Unidesk support for Windows 10 is available now. You can download our free version and try us in your own environment and see how great the product actually is. Thank you.